things look good. The baby's doing great, but I'm a little concerned about the weight gain. I really haven't gained that much. No, I mean him. <laughs> <laughs> we like to have fun here, right, Marsha? <laughs> so, would you like a DVD of your ultrasound? Yes. No. I thought we agreed we wanted to wait to find out if it's a boy or a girl. We want to be surprised. I don't like surprises. I want to know. And the person carrying the baby thinks it's better not to know. <laughs> We'd like to be surprised. <laughs> Put this in the Duncan file, please. That's, it's okay. We don't need to know. As long as our baby boy is healthy. Right, Doc? Mm. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the main thing is that our baby girl is doing great. Right, Doc? Well, honey, the man's not an idiot. He has a medical degree. Right, Doc? <laughs> Really fun first date. Taylor, in my experience, you can never go wrong with mini golf. PJ, I know we just met, but can I ask you something? Okay, but nothing too hard because this date's going really well. <laughs> my senior prom is this Saturday, and I was wondering if you'd like to go with me. Uh oh. Too hard? No, 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 no. It just my senior prom is also this Saturday. I was really excited about it, and I was going to ask you. Oh. But you asked me first, so yes. Oh, and just so you know. I would have said yes. Yes. Then it's a date? Absolutely. Wait, whose problem are we going to? Mine, I think. Yeah. Okay. And after the baby's born, Mommy and Daddy will bring it home from the hospital. But when do they take it back? They don't take the babies back. I know, I tried with Gabe. Hey, there you are. Hey, listen, um, I was wondering if you've picked out a prom dress yet. No, I really need to go shopping. Or not. Well, Mom, I need to buy a dress and can't just wear something from my closet. Maybe not your closet. I don't like where this is going. Let me tell you a story that seemed tragic at the time, but is now finally going to have a happy ending. I really don't like where this is going. The year was 1988, and a young and beautiful Amy Blankenhooper was on her way to the prom with her third choice, Bob Duncan. But alas... All would not turn out as Amy had planned. Knowing this story would go on for a while, Teddy sat down. Bob Diddlebunk, Amy's first choice, took his date out for steak. Bob Duncan had a coupon for the shrimp bucket. Anyway, it was an all-you-can-eat night, and Amy tried to keep up with Bob, which was her second mistake. A mistake that her beautiful prom dress would pay for dearly. So what are you saying? Did you puke on your prom dress? Well, in 1988, we called it hurling. <laughs> now the sad little story is finally going to have a happy ending. Teddy, don't you see? I saved that prom dress all these years so that you could wear it to your prom. I'll get it. Look, Mom, you really don't have to... Do <laughs> Teddy, when this dress goes to the prom, it'll almost be like I finally get to go to the prom. <laughs> I wish it were you. to your prom, too. No, thank you, Mommy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you doing, Dad? Oh, I'm just thinking about the new baby. Yeah, I like to do my thinking upstairs, just in case someone wants to come down here, play some video games or something. <laughs> you know, all I want to know is if it's going to be a boy or a girl. But your mother wants to be surprised. Well, why don't you find out and then not tell Mom? You have a brain of your own, right? Of course I do. It's just that your mother's brain doesn't like it when my brain goes off on its own. Dad, you can't just do whatever Mom tells you to do. You have to stand up for yourself. You know, you have to call the doctor, and you have to demand to know. You know what? You're right. Right? I mean, I am the baby's father. Yes, you are. Yes, do have some rights. <laughs> Hello, Marsha. Bob Duncan. I don't want to, I don't want to bother the doctor. I was just, could you, make, for me, could you just take a little look-see in our file and just tell me if we're going to have a boy or a girl? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, sure. What did she say? Would I please hold while she calls your mother? Well, face it, Dad. Your brain's no match for Mom's. <laughs> but, lucky for you, I have a plan. Is it an evil plan? No, no, no. It's a plan that helps the poor. Of course it's an evil plan. I don't know. Oh, come on. You know you want to do it. Isn't that why you came to me in the first place? Yeah. Wow. You're the 
Look great. So do you. Go, come on in. Okay. Here we are. What is this? It's the prom. Your prom is here? In your house? Yeah. I'm homeschooled. Oh. So, this is the whole prom? Just you and me and some old lady? <laughs> That's my grandma. She's also the DJ. Why is she wearing a sombrero? Uh, because the theme of the prom is the south of the border. Oh, okay, that makes sense. For a second there, I thought it was weird. Oh, my kids! Let the fiesta begin. Ole! Hey. DJ, this is my mom. Hi. Hi. And my biology teacher. And my history teacher. And my math teacher. Oh, my <laughs> Now smile. It's for the yearbook. <laughs> I guess I should have told you I was homeschooled. Might have been good information to have. Um, excuse me. <laughs> At least it's not getting any weirder. Duncan. Oh, nice to meet you. And uh, this is Charlie. You know, we're here because she's having a hard time with the new baby thing. Hey, Charlie, here's the man who can make you happy again. Talk to him. Well, I have a little sister, a little brother. Oh, did you hear that? She said a little sister, a little brother. <laughs> who could say no to that? Well, I could. What kind of doctor would I be if I told you without your parents' permission? Doctor who's got a little extra walking around money, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I'll be in the exam room. Dave, get the DVD. It's in the file. Okay. Uh, hey, Charlie, if you go find the doctor, I'll give you some candy. Okay? Okay. Uh, come on. Right, Dave. Oh, no. My little sister has run into the exam room. She can't go in there.
text and your prom looks so unique <laughs> that they just had to come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what a relief to be away from all those noisy people laughing and having fun. <laughs> this is so much better. Teddy, you gave up your prom for me? Oh, please. Going to prom at regular school is so last year. <laughs> Thank you. Hello? PJ, we in the right place? What's mom doing here? Did you send that text to everybody? Uh, it was an accident. Grandma was getting kind of handsy during the slow dance. She can't see me in this dress. Is there another way out of here? There's a door on the back. Okay, I'm going to go change cover forward. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hey, Dad, what are you guys doing here? Well, we couldn't go to our prom, so we thought, why not go to yours? Oh, uh, you guys are the best. Hey, there. <laughs> Hi, Spencer, what are you doing here? Where's Daddy? Oh, I don't know. Uh, should we be back in, like, three minutes? <laughs> 